Andrew McGahan for the MacLife.com, reporting live from Las Vegas with Ireland's newest viral sensation, Mick Constantine. A little bit of the Italian in you there as well, Mick, I can tell by your last name. Tell me, first of all, first of all, it's great to see you in a little bit of a different, uh, different scenario than most Irish people would have known you from. This is blown up. Everyone just knows you as the Conor McGregor guy around the world at the moment. But Irish fans remember you from the Euros last year. Was it was it how big that went? You just thought, here, I have to give this another go. I need the likes. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, look, obviously I thought about it, but uh, that was a big event as well. Like, and if you get a good song and a lot of Irish get on board and so on, it's go crack. And then um, just I, I don't know, someone maybe said it to me, or I wrote a big talk about McGregor and Mayweather, uh, the big fight, and then it got announced in June, and I said, here, look, I might as well try and get something out and. If you get something that's half decent, gets shared a bit, gets shared more, and people love Conor McGregor, don't I mean? Or either they love him or they're not mad about him, but he's a big, big man in, in like in whatever social media in the world today. So if you got the ball rolling on him, you get something big, and yeah, it's just blown up. It's how nuts. how long did it take you to record it or to uh, come up with the song from maybe your first draft lyric wise? Because the attention to detail. That's what, that's what a lot of people are being stung by here, but how well it documents the timeline. How long did it take you to uh, do that? Yeah, um, it, it was quick enough. Like um, The chorus just came out of nowhere, just me playing the ukulele and making up stuff, and that came out. And then it's probably over a day or two, I just got as much out as I could. And I remember it for about three or four hours, I was just trawling through you. YouTube videos just to try and make sure I wasn't missing out on any big massive Conor McGregor saying I thought I knew most of them but um, in fairness he's so many lines it's just so many lines are just gold that the song writes itself like and if you, just, if you get them in some way people are just going to love it how, um, how has the general feedback been because I know it seems to be overly positive but you know <laughs> haters are going to hate as they say <laughs> Are you getting That's dirty looks walking down to the village shop for a pint of milk or a loaf of Brennan's? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, in fairness, like, I, I, I wouldn't, uh, no one has said it to my face anyway that they don't think it's any good, but uh, I've seen the odd comment on Facebook and my mom would be mad looking through all the stuff and then she'd be like, oh, look, someone's after saying this thing about you or that thing about you, but uh, ah, in fairness, it's all a bit of crack and, like, Sure, it doesn't really bother me at all, and like I said, most of it is very, very positive. So, um, yeah, it does, yeah, it's, it's funny. You started getting a good bit of traction, a good bit of feedback, a good bit of comments, and actually, I know exactly what it's like to have a mother who goes through looking for every bad comment, put up a better son on the internet. <laughs> I've been there, but um, what was it like when you saw Connor had shared it? When you saw that uh, when Roddy was, uh, you said he was playing it on, you seen it on his Instagram story when they're in the yeah. car in Vegas. That was crazy, and that was only about, I think it was three or four hours after I put the song up, and one of my friends said, here, just quick, have a look at Owen Roddy's Instagram story there, and it was like, yeah, grand, have a look, and there he is driving through Vegas, and him playing, there's only one kind of <laughs> in the car, it was, I was insane, and then, um, sure, that night then, sure, I hardly slept, because I was just looking at my phone the whole time, and uh, I remember one of the, the, I think it was the, the page manager for Mac Life, um, uh, just I forget his name, <laughs> but he was uh, he was on to me and saying just McGregor or Connor saw the song and he liked it and then I was hoping, geez, imagine if he shared it. He's, about an hour later, he shared it himself and it was just, it was yeah, I couldn't believe it. Literally, could not believe it. Like that, that's what I kind of that was kind of the dream when I wrote at the start. Like imagine if he actually saw the song, let alone shared it, and for him to share it was just it was yeah ridiculous, crazy. What about when you got a message then saying? What are you doing the weekend of August 26th? Yeah, I, I, at the time I was actually in the studio um, called, recording a song. So when the song kind of went big, um, Pundit Arena said they'd pay for me recording just because I was with them last year for the, the Taking Over France song. And uh, they said, here, look, we just want to help you out. Um, and so they said, come on, we'll, we'll help you record. So I was recording in the studio and uh, just taking a break and had a look at my emails and this email, whatever, from Paradigm saying... Here, what's the story? Uh, Connor likes your <laughs> I've song. I've never heard of West Coast American old. I was say, here, what's the story? Like, what the? This, and then for a second, I was like, is this someone having a prank on me? Like, because it's the, <laughs> been the most horrible prank of all time and someone's messing with me. But um, yeah, no, I, I was just like, just disbelief. Like, I couldn't believe it. It's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so, let's look at it this way. 
flights, accommodation, and ho- I, I'm, I'm not going to say it, but I think there was talk about tickets as well, which would be an absolutely amazing experience for you over in Las Vegas. Does that, do you see the correlation here about you're a guy who enjoys making music, he loves doing what he's doing, and all it takes is that one opportunity. And now look at what this can do for you. Yeah, I think it's, that's the way, it, like, yeah, it couldn't have said it better. Um, it very, just things opened up, and now I have every single person contact. My phone's hopping the whole time. I get an offers to whatever, play here, play there. And it's, yeah, what a break, and what an opportunity, even to try and do something over in America, or maybe some TV crowd will there will catch hold of it. Or it's, that's just, yeah, like, it, I don't know where it's going to go from here, but at the moment, I'm just enjoying it. And if it goes any further, that's unreal. And if it doesn't go any further, it's still been an unbelievable experience and something I'll never forget. A couple of quick things before I let you go. I know you're a busy man with gigs tonight. I think you're playing six on the bounce later on around Dublin. Yeah. But, um, when it when it came down to something like the uh, the recording process, that was talk about acting while or striking while the iron is hot. You have a very good chance of building a viral case to get number one the week of that fight. This is the most historic fight in combat sports history, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. It would be nice that the Irish charts had something like that in it, I think, to show the week that was that was going on. I think so too, 100%. Same as the last year, the taking over France for the football team went to the number one. Sure, why can't this go to number one as well? And uh, just gives the lads the chance to show the, the support that they have for Conor and then... Um, there's just the love for it I had to have for him and even for it to whatever to go into the American charts or something you never know what could happen and uh, yeah sure why not like it's it'll be on iTunes and Spotify and all them in we're hoping maybe a day or two or we'll have a proper press release and all that kind of stuff um, for it but yeah it should, there'll be no better way to, to start the week than to have Connor number one and uh, yeah going into the big fighting on Saturday right two quick things who is your plus one speaking of a number one have you been hit up? Is it a lady? Is it a friend? Is it someone from the WhatsApp group? Are you taking bribes? Who who is the who is the one? I've never got as many Snapchats saying <laughs> people say. Do you remember how much I have got a friend I was to you there or one of this thing or so? Um, I know kind of beforehand. Um, I kind of said it. It's it's, it's a lad called Paddy O'Sullivan. He's a my housemate. So in fairness, he has a massive interest. He he's, he loves Connor as much as I do. So. Um, the thing about we're both was our teachers, so and school starts back for me. I think it's on a Wednesday, so um, I'll be missing the Thursday or Friday. Look, my principal just texted me there uh, about a few hours ago saying, "Hope you boy, a good man yourself." <laughs> so uh, you're the getting the permission. Uh, don't worry about it at all. And uh, so he thought so I'm good to go, and then I think he saw it himself there, so he's good to go. So um, yeah, so it's a uh, yeah, it should it should be good crack. I think he's going to be recording, basically, we'll just do a live blog and he'll be my personal uh, assistant for the weekend. But I think that's the least he can do for me, because so, I'm doing a pretty big favour. You need someone to carry the bags. Now, finally, what I would like to, that's to it, do... That's it, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you get in on the Friday or do you get in on the Saturday? Uh, the Thursday, actually, Thursday. I think coming Perfect. in at. So, so, I get to soak it all in for, uh, for a few days. I, I have a suggestion, okay? Connor Wayne's, excuse the pun, are notorious... It's the middle of summer. There's thousands of J1 students in Ireland at the moment. This is just a suggestion for you. If you were thinking of recording a proper music video for this, what a better setting than Las Vegas performing to thousands of Irish people at the Wayans for Connor and Floyd. We can do it outside, we can do it anywhere, but I would love to get a video of you with all of these Irish people performing that song in Las Vegas because you're going to experience it and I'm just forewarning you now because there's goosebumps here just thinking about it these wanes when the Irish get going it's like nothing you've ever seen before and I am convinced that there will be thousands upon thousands of Irish in Las Vegas regardless whether they have a ticket or not so what do you think we follow this up with a little performance the the day of the wanes I've never been I've been to Vegas before now, but I've never been at any time of a fight. But just the videos you see on Facebook at a time of a fight, you're just like, how am I not there? It just looks incredible. And so, look, I'm going to be there. I'm probably going to have my ukulele with me. 
If It'll someone a has a camera to... and there's a few lads that want to get in a video, I'm more than happy to make something like that happen. I think it'd be good crack, yeah. Fantastic. So Mick, um, Mick Constantine, uh, your your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, please plug away. I see that you've got a huge spike in the last couple of days. Yeah, it's gone up a small bit. Yeah, so you can get Mick Constantine on Facebook. Uh, give that a like. YouTube as well. Twitter. Um, actually, now at this stage, I, can't, I have people doing my Twitter for me because I can't <laughs> keep on top of it. Also, I feel like a proper celebrity. But uh, uh, and then yeah, Instagram as well. Uh, you'll see on a lot of those websites there that I don't really post off them. And over the last couple of days, I've been posting flat out. So yeah, I see. Uh, you, you keep actually going put up next that. Week. You put up a public service announcement on your Facebook page in June saying I'm away to the Middle East, I'm away to Thailand and Vietnam. I might put something up when I come back. What a what a tease. <laughs> Ridiculous. I know, so like, you have to keep them up more the whole time. That's exactly. The keep them, keep them but, um, uh, yeah, look, look me up. Uh, anyone that wants me to do, come and do a gig, come sing with them, do anything, just let me know, come on to me, and um, I'll be more than happy to do it. Excellent. Mick, thank you very much. We're going to see you in Las Vegas. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much.